Hey there, it's about January 6th, January 6th, 2023. I got a mouthful of marbles or something. And I was watching a video this morning, uh, Kim Iverson, the Kim Iverson show, which I started to watch right after she got let go from the hill. So I barely watch the hill anymore. Once in a while I see a couple of minutes of it, but I watch Kim Iverson because I only watch the hill because of Kim Iverson, pretty much, because she was, because of her, you know, her honesty and questioning things, etc. Anyway, she had a, uh, I think it was a, two days ago, she had a, an interview with Dr. Robert Malone, who's been getting a lot of attention in the past couple of years. And he said something very, very interesting in the, I think it was the 20-minute version I watched of the conversation. Anyway, he said one thing, like, that stuck out. I watch videos and I write notes down because I think uh, sometimes people say very interesting nuggets. And this is an interesting nugget extracted from that conversation. He says to Kim, you and I live in a world of truth in confronting reality, not confronting some fabricated construct of an approved narrative. Whoa. <laughs> and this is off the cuff. He didn't write this down or anything. Anyway, the guy's got to be listened to. Um, if you want to watch the whole video, go to Rumble because, uh, you know, there's because of YouTube censorship, obviously, that's been going on. Anyway, I um, thought I'd share that with you. I got lots more nuggets from videos, like highlights from videos from um, Joe Joe Rogan and uh, Robert Malone actually having that epic conversation, that three, I think it was a three-hour conversation. I took minutes, you know, notes every, like for every topic they're talking about, I wrote notes down, and I watched it about, uh, I watched it about three times and listened to it another like four or five times. So I've been through that whole conversation quite a few times where a lot of people at the time were going, well, this is, I'm going to take my music off Spotify or whatever, or, you know, demonizing them for having this conversation. And how many people listen to what they said 10 times, three hours? That's a lot of hours. That's 30 hours worth of listening, which I did. Okay. In the car sometimes because I got to, got to, you know, drive and listen. Um, but I, I did take notes. So anyway, uh, I continued to do that, and I did also take notes of uh, uh, Brett Weinstein uh, when he was talking about the, the Evergreen incident a few years ago, which he had an amazing statement um, for the people that he was, whatever, the commission or whatever, whoever he's talking to, uh, which I will share as well soon. Cheers. Thank you very much.